This is Thomas from Wolfheart, Before the Dawn and Dawn of Solis, and this is my top 5 YouTube drummers. I have this weird habit of watching a lot of drummers in YouTube. I don't care about guitar players, bass players, vocalists. I just watch drummers, uh, even if I, I, I do identify more as a guitar player myself. My ultimate number one, I don't consider him clearly as a YouTube drummer because he is more like a well-known drummer that has a certain amount of uh, footage in YouTube, but this is where I found him. But this is uh, one song done by Kevin Harrison, is Sound of Musak, I think is Porcupine Tree, original song. And that's a video that I watch at least once a month. Like always when I, when I wanna feel better or just get a good mood, I, I check that video and one of the most beautiful sounds in this universe is the snare on that video. Number two is uh, shamefully obvious, but I, I have to mention Este Barrio Siberiano. Everybody knows the one-handed drummer, and uh, I think he's the, one of the biggest YouTube figures of this time. How big he has exploded, and how ridiculously better he is than anybody else. You don't see this a lot in, in music or sports or anywhere, that somebody comes along and is so much better and handsome. And cool, so yeah. Number three is uh, is by far not my favorite drummer, but uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, Six Six Samus, of what he has achieved in YouTube and how much he's contributing to the drummer scene and how much he's bringing up like a new artist and how like how insanely effective he is of like uh, just pushing material and how entertaining he is but uh, I, I need to address that the, his way of drumming is is not my cup of tea at all but I, I think everybody already knows him but uh, everybody also should know him because of the huge amount of work he has done for the whole YouTube drumming scene. My number four is Krim. Not just that he's annoyingly good drummer, annoyingly handsome fellow, and uh, seems to be extremely nice person also, which is completely wrong. Not one person should have all those qualities. He's one of the best sounding drummers in the scene at the moment. And I really love the way he addresses music in general. And he's been making a lot of videos lately also about studio work, preparation for the studio. And I think he's a super good role model for any like a young upcoming metal drummer. Not just that, that you need to be the fastest or the strongest or the most extreme, but you, you need to be a musician also. And you need to like uh, respect the music. And yeah, that's why he's number four. Number five is probably one of the old, most oldest guys in the in the kind of like YouTube drumming scene. He is uh, Jonathan Sugarfoot Muffet. He is most known as a drummer for Michael Jackson, but he has also worked with the artists like Elton John and Madonna, for example. And I, I think that like, uh, this is this is like the gold dust of whole YouTube. It doesn't just bring young guys and eager guys, but like uh, guys that has been in the in the scene for 30 years. Yeah, I think it's really important for every drummer and especially metal drummers to find inspiration and look videos from other than just metal drummers. There's something else than hyperspeed and gravity blast and being the fastest and being the most extreme. You also need to groove. <laughs> 